Hello folks and welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Well, let us go straight to the wealth ratio. We don't have any time to waste, right? So, let us see what's happening here. Well, we can see, uh, as mentioned yesterday, uh, we had our bottom here and since then the weights ratio is rising. Also confirmed by the weights ratio 30 hours moving average showing exactly the same move. Let us take a look here and well I mean we are talking about um, a very high level so indicating um, that weights are sending their bitcoins to exchanges and uh, we had some yeah pump and dump or at least one big pump and dump today uh, that was related to SPX SPY and we need to see what happens next however it's maintaining very high level and that's not good that's indicating that whales are sending more bitcoins and we will check the flow activity on spot exchanges that will confirm what's happening today the stablecoin reserves on exchanges also not looking very well indicating they are taking more stablecoins from the exchanges also a good indicator of selling activity and even the stablecoin supply in the market dumped once again well, as you know, that's absolutely not bullish at all. It's indicating they are sending more and more and more stablecoins back to the treasuries where they disappeared because they burned them. So, Bitcoin net flow indicating, well, today, well, as usual, I would say, and uh, today more red than uh, green, but this net flow is indicating the total Bitcoin net flow so it's not making any um, differential uh, between um, derivatives and spot exchanges so let us take a look to the flow activity so what's happening well first of all the orange curve here indicating Bitcoin spot we are talking about the spot exchanges one hour time frame as indicated here and um, we are detecting bigger at least bigger Bitcoin inflows uh, we received yesterday night that was the biggest one 2700 Bitcoin since then it just um, went down indicating less Bitcoin coming in and since this morning we are lifting up here again and it's indicating I mean I don't know exactly how much that is but we have here almost 2000 Bitcoin and we have here 1600 Bitcoin so I would say that's almost 6000 Bitcoin here and that's actually a lot we didn't see such kind of Bitcoin uh, inflow activities since a while at the same time and I have mentioned that we received big stablecoin inflows like we had here uh, but at the same time big outflows as well we can see here the net flow related to the stablecoins and um, so it's indicating 50 million difference between inflows and outflows and everything else it's looking very flat so we need to see because we had here at the same moment 230 million in inflow but 180 million in outflow and that's it the same happened here but here we had more outflows than inflows. so I would say it's almost plus minus zero but a lot of Bitcoin coming in and that's in my opinion not good at all so what's happening to the future market <coughs> sorry well 
First of all, we can see here, uh, I need to zoom in a little bit more, okay. And uh, we can see here that the funding rate was declining and is lifting up again. And <coughs> we can also here see the net flows. And it doesn't really look like we are getting more capital to derivative exchanges too. Uh, we can see here um, we had more outflows related to stablecoins than inflows and right now we can see here uh, it seems that bitcoins are arriving to derivative exchanges we need to check oh yeah it makes more sense uh, well no no, 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 and th that's absolutely right. At the moment, just few. I mean, we are talking here about a net flow of 500 Bitcoin. Here, minus 170. Here, minus 90. Here, plus 200. And here, minus 1,300. So, and that matches very well to the CBD. We will talk about that later on. But that, that matches very well, so we need to see. However, <coughs> the open interest declining declining very hard so uh, they are closing uh, their futures or they get wrecked I mean with and that was something I was expecting funding um, sorry uh, leverage ratio new autumn high just to make sure that's a new ATH okay that's insane people that's really insane I don't like that at all because I have to work very hard for my money I don't know if uh, yeah I don't know what what's happening with you guys but that's really insane and what's happening to the leverage ratio of course it's dumping hard afterwards because now people are trading with less leverage well that's future trading. Let us take a look um, if something changed. Yeah, shorts are coming in right now, it seems. So we forget as usual. Oops, we forget as usual. Bitfinex, they are always bulls or bullish. Bitmax, not interesting, but Binance. And even we still have more longs than shorts we are getting more shots right now I was checking um, this data today several occasions and um, <coughs> we had almost 700 million just few hours ago and now we have 945 million so that's indicating that shots are coming in uh, let us take a look to FTX what's happening there we can go there. Takes just a minute. Well, yeah, we can see that. I mean, bigger volume, of course, on the long side, but and um, I need a better entry for my short. So um, to see that here, that could attract the price action to go up let me check from 39.4 I would say until 41 well I I don't think actually a 41 is possible at the moment because of the sell pressure but 40,400 is absolutely interesting very interesting and that's something just because another option trade I have detected today uh, this guy was um, bought big calls for mid of May 44k and he adjusted it to call 40k so he is expecting in the next few weeks usually in the next few days uh, to go up to 40k to have a retest of the 40k so if that's if that's the case for me, the best opportunity sh to short, actually. <clears throat> yeah, 
you have heard right short at, at the moment I don't see the market to be very I mean of course you will have a lot of opportunities also just to swing right so to take to use the longs then flip and to use the shorts but what I'm seeing is BTC is just following SPX SPY just it's a copy one to one of of this asset and even if SPY is pumping for example Bitcoin is just stalling at 39.2 and that's that's the main pork that's where the liquidity is and I mean that it has such problems just to have its breakout there for me that's a sign of weakness and I mean it right now we are at 39,150 I'm just waiting um, to 39,800. If I see it, it keeps fighting to cross 39,2. I will short from there, because I I don't think that Bitcoin will at least in the next few days go up more. But maybe I'm wrong. We will see. However, that would be perfect if we could make such kind of pump maybe today in the night or whatever I mean as long as Bitcoin is following SPY SPX that could be maybe mm, yeah a challenge to go up I don't know we need to see however that's the part of you so let us talk about option trading what's happening there well first of all we can see here we have a gamma call wall at 40k and the put wall at 38k and that's the main problem that's why the price is at the moment just um, yeah it maintains actually a little bit this this range right so 38k and 40k it's actually where we are at the moment and it's going to be a challenge to just to leave that area so for me if we could retest that area of 40k that would be amazing but I don't think we will go much more up than 40k maybe 40,500 or something so that would be for me at least the best entry case um, if we check here at the GAX let us well, the, the GAX looks okay. I mean, we are very close to the expiry, um, but however, we we are very close to the to the zero six thousand GAX. Um, we will still have some space to go down, and yeah, that would match actually. So let us take a look here to the different strategies and what happened in the last twenty four hours. And again, Bitcoin just tried to retest 39.2 and it failed, it seems. That's really insane. Wow, okay. Custom strategy, 750 million, that's a lot. And beer put spread, 180 million. Okay, both are in my scope right now. Let us see. We are talking bear put spread a half million and custom strategy one million six hundred thousand dollars. That's good. Bear put spread. Yeah, okay. I mean Oh boy. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, he sold the 34k put for mid of May, and instead, and he's paying three times the price of what he is getting for these lots, and he is now making 38k puts. So adjusting a little bit, he is not, it seems he is not thinking that the price 
could go down until mid of May to 34k and below. Let us take a look here. Also here, very interesting. 29 is indicating lower than 40k. Okay, that's the case right now, but not below of 38k. And actually, he is also here paying three times of the money he got for his lots. And 28, also very interesting. So the puts are going more up. 36 instead of 35. Well, I mean... 25 instead of 20, but that's June. I don't care about June, but this here is very interesting So it's adjusting they are not they are still bearish, but not that bearish anymore at least they think we are very close to the local bottom I would say Wow Okay Okay, that's September, but wow. Um, <coughs> April. Uh, low volume. Yeah. Put thirty nine K. Low volume. Okay, uh, he's expecting a little bit of volatility or at least risk management. 40k call or put 38k. And he sold his put 39. Uh, he, is, he did a very good premium trade here. Evolved <coughs> for end of May actually puts 40 at uh, 34k and sold his calls instead uh, that's also interesting here sold 38k both 40k puts also here sold 38k puts and both 40k okay <coughs> we can see more puts coming in than than um, than calls, but however, uh, these guys are indicating they are adjusting their expectations. So they are, and I, I mean the the price action is showing you that um, at the moment we are maintaining a range between 38k and 40k, so that makes sense. Okay, that's it for option trading. So who or what is driving the market at the moment? Let us take a look to the 30 minutes chart first. And that's the reason why I have said I would like to short, but I'm waiting for if possible. I mean, I see that Bitcoin is challenging just to cross the 39.2. And one thing that makes me ultra bearish Is that here? That makes me ultra bearish. We didn't we didn't see that because they use a stable com futures a little bit just to uh, lift up and they bought a little bit as you can see. Then they sold again, but they use the opportunity to sell their BTC future contracts, and you know. My idea or my 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 theory is they use them only just to pump up to lift up and they sold almost every contract yeah almost every not not yet but almost and th for me that's an indicator we will see another dump very soon and that's the main thing so, but let us take a look 
to the five minutes chart to see what is driving the market right now. And that's the way where you can see that be better if you use a little time frame. Bitcoin margin contracts down. They used stablecoin futures and spot to reduce to sell their Bitcoin margin contracts. FTX is selling now again. They sold almost everything and they are selling and selling and selling even more. Okay, so <clears throat> what we can see here is that the aggregated spot CVD just bought almost 1000 Bitcoin. That's nothing. We need to be very careful. And you can see that again we failed. I mean, here, 39,200. I mean, here we were up 39,200. And that's a big problem at the moment. That's really a big problem at the moment. <coughs> so, in my opinion, we will go down again. And um, these guys will sell again. Okay, they they have started to buy, buy here. I think they will use uh, more stablecoin futures just to lift up a, a little bit and start to sell. And then when they sold three, four hundred bitcoins, they just let it drop like a stone. And uh, you can see what's happening at the moment. I mean, these guys are selling. Okay, that's FTX, but we can go and we can see Bitfinex. Nothing happening. They were part of this formation to go up, but it seems they want to go down again. And um, yeah, and let me check a little bit the time frame again here to make it clear what's happening. That's Bitfinex. That's the aggregated, that stable coin. Okay, let us go to the other chart. That's Coinbase. Five minutes. Coinbase have started to ball. Okay, they bought even more here. But as many institutionals are mm, trading on Coinbase, that doesn't mean they are accumulating. We need to see, of course. But we are talking here about 2000 Bitcoin. Yeah. So we need to see. It, it, it wouldn't wonder me because that happened in the past. They both to dump afterwards, so we need to see. We have here FTX USDT pair. Okay, they have both a little bit, almost 200 Bitcoin, that's nothing. I mean, w when I say they both, that means that's the gap between ball, uh, buys and sells. That's the cumulative volume delta, right? So we have Femex. Well, Femex is is selling, selling hard. Let us see here. Binance USDT. Yeah. Okay. Uh, th that makes sense. Okay. They have both. Um. Yeah. Almost one thousand Bitcoin. And selling at the moment. And that's it. So for me, stablecoin futures are at the moment in the scope because um, they are reducing their um, Bitcoin margin contracts and holding a little bit with spot. We need to be very careful. So exchange walls, what's happening here? Well, Coinbase, nothing up and some layers here indicating some walls. We have uh, the biggest one at 35K. Deribit, 37k, Binance, also different layers here, also here and the, oh yeah, they have different order walls, but the next one, 38k, Bitfinex, nothing, spoofing. FTX 
Oh, what happened here? That's new. It wasn't before. Okay. The same game like, like before. <laughs> they don't want to let the price go up, it seems. Okay, that's new. Uh, 37,200 is the next one. That's just spoofing. Yeah, that's spoofing. So the next wall, 37. Bitmax. Nothing. They reached ex uh, they hit it actually their their wall since then nothing. So we have thirty seven, thirty eight in mind. Also interesting. New walls. <coughs> we still have some walls here. Thirty seven five. Thirty seven. Okay, at 44, but nothing serious for me. Okay. Um, hmm. Then let us check again. 40,700 and here different. They are, it seems they are here. Yeah, they are, that's here. They are placing new walls here. It doesn't look like they want to let the price go up and a little bit go down to 37.5, like FTX. So that's it. Let us talk about the conclusion now. So, we have here, actually, based on the exchange walls, we have here 40,200. Very interesting because it matches very well to the trend line. And we have here 37. Uh, the last time we did 37,700, we failed and we went up again. So, we have now this, actually, such kind of trading range. Okay? And we need to figure out what's going to happen first. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I really don't know. Because, as you can see here, we failed many times to have our breakout of 39200. That's something I mentioned yesterday. That's going to be a challenge, but it will be possible. It's not happening. Even, I mean, even the volume, it's not that big. But we are getting a lot of sell pressure here. And that's the reason why we are not seeing a breakout here. So in my opinion, we can make a little bit more that here, then go down. And in my opinion, we will retest that area. We will go down to the 37. Let me... Do we have... Yeah, perfect. Great. So, that's going to be pain, because, wow, 37. Um, yeah, but that's, it's like it is. Also, uh, in my opinion, we will retest that area here. That's a trend line. We are going to do the same here. Just this time we will fail here. So, not exactly here, but... That's going to look similar then. Let me... Okay. So, mm, we should make such kind of move then. And then go down. Then we will see, as we have seen a lot of exchange, uh, exchange walls there, we should fail and then go up. It's possible overnight, for example, with a scam pump, that we bounce very hard here. So that could be a possible interesting entry for a long and then go up again to 40,000. Fail here again, then we would make such kind of double top or something. And then go even down more. That could be possible just to retest again that area here 
maybe with a breakout retest fail and go even more down or maybe we are going to retest that area of 40k in my opinion at the moment it's not an option but maybe we can have a breakout there and then visit maybe again 43 44 or i don't know what but in my opinion at the moment i would expect 37 retest fail go up again retest 40200 so here the trend line maybe make a little bull trap fail again and drop even more or maintain like we did here okay that's something we did retest so we failed this retest we failed this retest we failed again this retest and now we are failing here so what's the consequence of course we go one step lower and that would match to the 37 okay go up again then usually then usually we should make such kind of retest fail go down one step more fail go up fail and so on and so forth that's a possible scenario that we could see so go up down up down up down but with a downward trend and we need to see but as you know um also related to the option trades they are expecting a price below of 38k so that matches also very well to the exchange walls of 37k we still have more longs so be very careful because if they want and they start to liquidate longs we could win in pace in the dump so that means 37 right big dump with very aggressive and and with pace but it would retrace afterwards it would let a big uh, candle wick afterwards so be very careful don't fear and use the opportunities i hope you enjoyed i think it's not that long this time and um yeah trade carefully your inspo big love see you tomorrow again bye bye